Today, I'm gonna show you how to attach objects or images to walls in Adobe After Effects. This is probably way easier than you think and can be done in just a few minutes. Let's jump into it. Cineguac. This video is brought to you by Pond5, the world's largest stock video marketplace with over 30 million clips to choose from. This includes the highest standard of royalty-free premium video clips, which are available to use straight away in your projects. Pond5 also has a huge selection of music, sound effects, photos, graphics, After Effects templates, and 3D models. As a filmmaker, I've found so many amazing pieces of stock footage, which I've used in both feature films and short films. I actually downloaded a few helicopter shots for my most recent short horror film on my other channel, Social House Films. Be sure to check that out. Pond5 have a variety of tailor-made custom solutions to choose from, meeting every creator's needs. If you want just an item or two, you can purchase with paper item pricing, or stock up on a credit pack first to get the most bang for your buck. If you have more consistent content needs, Pond5 has a membership offering as well. Everything they sell comes with a best price guarantee. To get started, you can create a free account today, choose from a large library of content, including thousands of free assets, and then start creating. Pond5 actually gave me a special offer to pass on to you, so click the link in the video description below to get 20% off any of these options today. As you can see, I have this video clip of me walking through my hallway. And what I want to do is add some images to the walls so that it looks like they're actually attached. So let's go ahead and right-click our video clip and hit New Comp from Selection. That will automatically place our video clip on the timeline. Then let's go to our clip, right-click, and select Track and Stabilize, and then Track Camera. Your computer will now automatically analyze the entire clip. This should only take a few minutes depending on how long your video clip is and how fast your computer is. Whenever that's done, if we just scrub through our clip here, you'll see we now have all these little tracking marks. And what we want to do is replace this picture frame right over here with a photo of our own. So let's click and drag, selecting a whole bunch of these tracking marks all at once. Then let's right click this circle that we made and select Create Solid and Camera. Let's go down to this new solid we just created, right click and select Pre-Compose and hit OK. Now when we scrub through, you'll see this solid perfectly sticks to the picture frame on the wall. But now, we want to replace this with a photo of our own. So let's double click the solid, opening up in its own sequence, and select this color mat it creates by default, and just delete. Now let's grab the photo we want to replace it with, and drag it right onto the composition window. As you can see, this is a really cool photo of me serving my dog a milkshake from in and out and quite frankly, this deserves to live on my wall. We can drop this menu down and just adjust the scale and position so that it fits perfectly inside the playback window. That looks pretty good. And when you're done, let's just go back to our main sequence. You'll now see that the photo is stuck to the wall, but it's still not perfect. We want to make it bigger and adjust the position slightly. We can drop this menu down just like before and adjust the scale until it looks about right. And we can just grab the photo and move it around until it's positioned correctly. You can also adjust the X, Y, and Z axes by using these little wheels. And when we play that all back, our photo is now perfectly attached to the wall. In case you want to add more images to the wall, we can drop down the menu of our original video clip, go to Effects, and select 3D Camera Tracker. The markers will reappear on screen, so now we can just repeat everything on a different part of the wall. So let's just go to the door and select a whole bunch of tracking marks. Right click, Create Solid, Pre-Compose, OK, double click here, delete the solid, and I'll just add the Cineguac logo. Let's go back to the original sequence and adjust the scale of the image so it's a bit bigger. That looks about right. Adjust the position. 
And there you have it. That's how you stick images to the wall. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you learned a thing or two. As always, these videos take a long time to put together. So show me some love, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you next time.